Well, okay, so it's two things. So I'm trying to get them to the dad because I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm over it. I do everything by my fucking self, and I've been doing it for years since I was 15. I'm literally 27. I'm about to be 28 this year. Still nothing. Like, these don't help. They don't send no Christmas cards, birthday gifts, presents. No, literally not a damn thing. And as well, okay, my oldest son is 11, and my daughter's is about to be three. So you mean to tell me out of three years and out of 11 years, y'all lazy ass still ain't come up yet? I don't know where this is going, but I do want to say something. As a parent, matter of fact, as a father, I cannot understand how dudes are not in their kids' lives. Now, I do know in certain situations where the moms be acting up and because y'all not together, now she make it difficult for you to be in your son or your daughter's life. But for to voluntarily just abandon their kids is crazy to me. I saw my son from since he came out the... I saw my son from since he came out the coochie hole to where he is right now. And that's the most amazing feeling. I've watched this man develop his personality. And that is the most amazing feeling to see this tiny little thing grow up to be the man that's hogging my PlayStation right now. You know what, hold on. I don't think I can react to this by myself. We might, <laughs> we might need some help, y'all. Um... Denea! Denea! Hey! You funny? Yeah, hey, you, you wanna come react to this video with me? You busy? No, give me five minutes. Five minutes? What the fuck is she doing? Well, I guess, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll be back in five minutes. All right, y'all, so that, that five minutes turned into an hour, but, um... What five minutes? The five minutes you said it was going to take you to come... Oh, because I had wanted to do my skincare routine. I wanted to do that anyway, but then when you asked me to come on camera, I had to make it a you know, priority. She got, she got fans now. So. I ain't got no fans. You to go... You know how you feel when your skin is congested? I was like, cook. I cook pancakes. I made, like, the chicken noodle soup for y'all, so... You know, I took a shower and I was going to do my face last. And I still didn't get a chance to do my face. So my skin on my face was still feeling very just... <sighs> but now I feel really good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why <are> you... <laughs> my gut like it was just spilling out my... Okay, I'm ready now. Yo, you really don't have a <laughs> gut. So you just be talking. All right, anyway. Well, okay, so it's two things. So I'm trying to get them to the dad. Because I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm over it. I do everything by myself, and I've been doing it for years since I was 15. I'm literally 27. I'm about to be 28 this year. Still nothing. Like, these don't help. They don't send no Christmas cards, birthday gifts, presents. No, literally not a damn thing. And as well, okay, my oldest son is 11, and my daughter's is about to be 3. So you mean to tell me out of 3 years and out of 11, y'all lazy ass still ain't come up yet? Okay, well, y'all take the kids. And I'm going to worry about me, focus on school, and get my motherfucking shit together, because why the f*** not? It's time for somebody else to, you know, step the f*** up and do something. I'm tired, like, every f***ing time. Like, I say every f***ing time. I'm, I've been doing it by myself since I was 15. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm in two different colleges. I'm working. Um... I'm over, I'm overwhelmed, I just, it's, I'm done, I really am, I'm just done, I just want to learn, I just want to be able to focus on me, my school, my careers, my jobs, I, I just want to focus on me, and more, I absolutely love and adore my kids, they're so beautiful and intelligent, but I don't want them, I'm trying, I've been trying literally for two, two, three months to give them to the dads, literally nothing, then you got one of the dads like, oh, what the? Yo, I kid you not. I told this man, you, it's time for you to step up and do something. Like, you know, step the fuck up. So then he's like, oh, it sounds like, um, I, like, I literally told him, I said, I'm just trying to better myself. I said, my career is low-key on, low on the rise and shit. This is gonna look and say, my kids, so you could go and chase your dreams because your dreams are starting to come true. Why would I want to sit there and let your dreams come true? Like, for one, that's the most hating ass uh, somebody oh, can ever say. Hey, Literally, hey, I know who right, hold on, hold on. So far, how you feeling about this? So I'm just I'm taking everything in that she's saying. 
Alright, so I said previously before we started recording together that I don't understand how dudes can't be a part of their kids' lives. Remember, we had this whole conversation and I was like, I saw Say Kim from since he came out the Pum Pum to who he is now. Mm -hmm. And it's an amazing feeling to see his personality progress. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I can't understand how dudes can't be in their kids' lives. But at the same time, this is where I'm a little torn because I can't see myself willingly giving my kids up to CPS. Right. I can't see myself willingly giving my kids up to CPS. When Say Kim was born, it was grind mode for me. Hold on, it's Jordan. Hold on real quick. What the hell Jordan want? Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up? What up, Jay? But yeah, so I just can't. <laughs> Not your little look at your feet, babe. Angle it like my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't like willingly see myself giving my kids up to CPS. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, it's grind mode. When say Kim was born, I was I had my head down and I was trying to figure out how to make some bread. Am I capping? You're not capping, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that wasn't a good time. I'm not like that. Was I'm just saying, babe. We didn't have a communication, so it's like I saw that you was in grind mode, but at the same time, that was my first time becoming a mother. So much change, like for me in my life, and I felt like really abandoned because it's like I didn't really had no support because you, when you came home from work, you doing what you do now. You was, like, working on your videos, but my whole life shifted, and the person I kind of shared my life with was, like, not really available. That my All my close friends, none of them had kids, so I didn't really know how to, you know, tell them how I was feeling and if they could really relate. Then I really wasn't proactive in Facebook groups with other moms because I feel like what I saw on social media was is just motherhood being glamorized you know like i just love it and it's so amazing and and that wasn't what i was feeling so it was like a lot of guilt and shame around those thoughts you know and i mean i still would i can't fathom giving my children up to like cps but she said that she'd been a mother since she was 15 years old i couldn't fathom being a mother at that age you know what i'm saying i felt like even at, at my grown age of 28 that like a lot of things was snatched away from me. You know what I'm saying? So I can only imagine how she felt, she feels, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that not only do you have to be vulnerable to ask for help and assistance, you ask for help with a man that you shared your body with, and I'm sure you cared about from one point in time, and he says, like, why would I want to assist you in your growth? That's like a double stab, like a stab in the heart because he hasn't been helping. And then you say you need help and you want him to step up because you're trying to better yourself, which will in turn better his child. You know what I'm saying? He says, why the fuck? Why would I want to do that? You just going to twist a knife in her heart? I ain't going to lie, man. Y'all got to stop letting the wrong shoot the club up. But sometimes two men change after like women, they, you know what I'm saying? They get the pumps. Not they get the pulls, but after they have a baby by that woman, I don't know. Sometimes the responsibility of it all, they just don't, they're not the same people. The same way it activated you, for some yeah, reason, I was, I was activated, you know what I'm saying? Had a baby. I see my boy. I was activated. Turned me into a super. I was doing Uber. I was finna go back to. Eaton is, or he go by Kike. That's who I'm talking about. Y'all, this one, this one dumb bitch Akira on this live because he died. If I knew that's who the fuck her baby dad was, I would have. Hello, I would not have been talking to him because you're you're mad that he's my baby dad. Okay, you can have him back. I never wanted to be my baby dad. I just got stuck and I couldn't abort the mother. So to help contact these goddamn dads so they can come and get these kids. 
because like I said, I'm done. So, you know, but if by five o'clock I cannot get the dads to man the f up and help, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to drop them off at the fire station. I've already contacted the fire station because I didn't know how the whole shit worked or whatever. Because I know, I know you could drop off like newborn babies and shit and not get in trouble. Or I don't know if you get in trouble or not. I don't even give a f if I do get in trouble. I don't care. I'm done. So anyway, I acted on it because I'm, I'm tired of doing it by myself. Like literally, I got all the kids, 20, literally 24 the fuck seven. I got 24 seven. I don't have nobody to be watching them. JFS keep fucking up my childcare. The dads don't fucking help. The the, the grandmas is dead beats as fuck. I can't wait to see this one. I can hit these motherfuckers up and tell them to be a dad or, or I don't know. If y'all want to take them, because look, y'all can get benefits and everything. Um, Honestly, actually better yet, my daughters might qualify for SSI. But I'm not playing. I'm just like, I have to know you. I'm saying, if you feel like you want to take and foster my kids or something like that, I don't give a This is me openly asking for help. I need help. I got a lot of going on right now. So, <clears throat> with that being said, uh, if you want to openly foster my ch my children or whatever, I have to know you. you. Yes, we have to go through the whole little process or whatever. Mm. But I still want to see my kids. I still want to provide for my kids and everything. But, yeah, no, if you want, like I said, if you want to foster them, you're more than welcome. Y'all will get benefits. If you, if you can file for food stamps, my daughter's qualify for SSI. Um, it's a couple different things. My son's dad is dead as and he ain't coming back. In fact, I, st I still gotta go today and spit on the grave and send the video to his mama. Anyway, but anyway, yeah. Oh. I, um, after I do, but my oh. son's dad is dead. He's not coming back. So my son's dad, I mean, my son survived, uh, he, he, you know, he qualifies for uh, survivor's benefits or whatever the f Poor child. Anything that I do with my life, my career, my business, whatever f rapper that you see me with, whatever rapper flies me, the f that has nothing to do with you. The f my boyfriend has nothing to do with you. It don't matter. None of that matters. Yeah, you should worry about you and the f what, you, what you have to do for your kids. And actually, to be honest, you're literally, you're literally that f stuck on a fucking rapper. We're just, f he's not even my boyfriend. So imagine when he is, when he do become my boyfriend, you're going to be f sick. Oh, he's not my boyfriend. Okay. So now you just look dumb as f***ing bitter as f worried about the wrong guy. I'm not Because I love them. And this, and this is hard, like. This is, this is killing me, yeah. but it's for the better, like, it's, yeah. it's for me to get my life better and focus on my schooling, my career, my health, number one, my health so I don't f***ing die, because I can't do it for them if I'm dead, yeah. I can't stop stressing if I don't have help, you yeah. know, so and it's like, bad. and it's like, the dads didn't want to help me, they wanted to see me beat, I done lost everything so many f***ing times. But you know what? Like I said, I'm going to come back for them. And as far as the whole foster whole thing, like, will it be open? Will I still be able to, like, see them, well, bring them the gifts yeah. and stuff? Like, What they'll do is they'll set up visitation for you, usually here at the agency or a designation place, whatever the court orders, and you'll be able to see them wait for you. Okay, that's yeah. even better uh, that I can still see them. Oh, yeah, and, you'll get to see them. And, and I can still see. provide for them, right? Correct. You Birthdays. Can bring gifts and have all that. Cause yeah, because, like, it's only so much I can do. I mean, I just finished my last medical class today, so it's like I just have to study for my in did you go to? I'm in two different colleges right now. Uh -huh. um, one is through OSU for my national my national medical assistant license. Okay, but if you want to show back here, I just picked up one of the kids that I have to go to the And if you ask Alex, it'll be everything from dinosaurs to siren head. <laughs> but you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. They're they're intelligent. Yeah, they seem like good kids. They are yeah. into um, cause they they do they like um, cause you know I told you we watch documentaries and stuff. So they are into a lot of Greek mythology, um, and like Indian myths and folklore. So yeah. I'm a Greek mythology. I'm pretty good at it. So. Yes. Um. So sometimes. Yeah, if you have to try to open the yeah. light or something, you know. And I made sure I told them that earlier. I, told, I made sure I told them that there's nothing wrong, and they didn't do anything wrong. And I don't want them to think that they're not enough because they're everything I ever wanted. I'm coming back for them. I don't yeah. care. Y'all, I'm telling you, respectfully from my mouth, whatever hoops you guys throw at me, whatever, no matter how you guys try to spin it, 
I'm coming back for my kids, and I am going to get my kids. So I blocked all my sisters. I blocked all my family, because I don't like none of them. I don't give a fuck about none of them. I'm cool. I cut my ties with family. I cut my ties, obviously, unfortunately, with my kids. Um, I don't have a boyfriend, but I was. And then I cut my ties with him. I'm, if the dads didn't fucking care, why the fuck do I got to care? Uh, and, you know, it's sad, because I didn't care. I obviously didn't care. I love the fuck out of them. And I'm going to come back for my babies, and I'm going to get them the fuck. Cause she bought polos, huh? I didn't see about four different people just now. Am I tweaking? I um, don't. She clearly in crisis, you know. I don't. I don't. You don't want to judge. I'm not gonna judge. Like okay, okay. Mother has. But this gonna be the first year that I'm not gonna grieve like the person I was before becoming a mother. So everybody did what they should their own way, and. It don't you look said like this she the got... first year you not gonna grieve the person you was before. I be like I I told you that like not every day but on Mother's Day. Mother's Day is like the saddest holiday it used to be because I used to just feel this cloud of sadness come over me to mourn the girl I used to be. You know how I used to have a trajectory. I had a plan. I had goals. I you know, like, having a baby was on the list, but I wanted to do other things first. And it's like my whole life shifted in a blink. And I think just trying to embrace that and accept it. When you a person that already kind of go with the flow of things in life, like, in your femininity, that's easy. But when you someone who's like, this how I said it's going to be done. And every time you set your mind to do something, you do it. You get used to identifying with the person that gets shit done and get it done her way and then something happened to you that defies that it's like a psychosis almost so that's what i'm saying like first so of, is it be, i mean i hear what you saying i understand where you're coming from but is a part of it like the fact that you didn't have control of the situation absolutely okay so I let, me mm -hmm. let me ask you this question so Let's say everything went as planned, how you wanted it to go. Do you feel as though we'd have a child right now? We might. Honestly, you feel as yeah, though we might? Yeah, I had five things on my list that I wanted to do. What was the five things? It was to become a full-time esthetician. It was to... Um, this get... is why you was working for the CDC? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Did you quit the CDC before Say Kim was born or after? After he was born, because I got the opportunity to fulfill one of my dreams that was on my list. Okay. I to become a full-time esthetician. Hey, hey, y'all. My baby was a scientist. What? No, I was, but I mean, I'm a phenomenal person. <sighs> I'm just saying, like... If she she be so no, modest. No, no, I'm... I'm I, I, I get Whatever, it. but I titles know. mean nothing. You need to work on like who you are as a being on the inside, cause that's what I'm saying. That could be stripped away from you. Then what? What if I my identity wasn't Danae or become a mother, but Danae the scientist, and they fired me? And that was the highest. I that I set the goal. I said I want to work as a public health scientist. I did that. And everything I say I want to do, I do, but I do it my way on my terms this was the first thing that ever happened to me in my life as an adult that did not happen on my terms and it went against everything that i built my life on you get what i'm saying so instead of like me being depressed every day i wasn't depressed every day like i said it's just like on mother's day it was just a reminder of how my world in my mind before shattered but now it's like I don't look at it like that. Like, that's what I was trying to tell you earlier. It's kind of like, oh, I feel good. Like, I feel like it's normalized now. Like, oh, this is like my new life. This is, oh, okay, I can get with this now, 100%. I feel like every year that went by, I was like 5%, 10%, 20 40 50 you know? But I could not fathom, like I said, having a baby at 15, when I had the thoughts of who I want to be when I grow up, and then didn't even have a chance to grow up. To do it, you know what I'm saying? And then not even have support. Like, God forbid something happened to you. I'm going home. And I'm living with my father in Jersey. I'm not about to be on, no, I'm going to figure it out in Atlanta. No, my my son deserves a father figure in his life. And I deserve support. So, you know, if something had happened to me 
That was going to be all right. No, it, but that's what I'm saying. It's not about the money. It's about, like, I need support. I Say, Kim you. needs support. Children are not meant to be raised alone. That's not how it... Mm. You, you, your stories, growing up in the Caribbean, you were surrounded by family. You know what I'm saying? Where I was raised, I was at my nana house every weekend. I wasn't just in the bubble with my mother and my father all the time. They had me in curricular activities, things. Like, take him deserves that. So if it ever comes a, a time when he can't have that, then I'm going to make it so. That's why I said my father. Like, I'm not going to have no man. But it's just like, I'm not on this. I have nothing to prove. I'm not superwoman. I don't want to be nobody's superwoman. I want support so I can be the best me for the ones who depend on me. And it don't look like she had that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying she 100% the victim because I don't think she is. But her mind ain't right. And I'm not going to see him like, oh my God, how could she? Because I would never. I, I know what it feel like to, to be depressed and have a damn near almost mental breakdown or psychosis. And the fact that she's recording this, it just shows like how much of a crisis she in. She's crying for help. Yeah, I got you. Uh, me leaving, working so many hours, like yeah, I wanted to prove myself, but it was like I felt like, when well, do I come home? We we have no, you know what I'm saying? No structure. No structure. So it was like as soon as I got home from my job, it was like take over, say Kim time. It was no like take take a breather because in your mind it's grind mode. But then it's just like again, nothing was taken into consideration. So sometimes I would sabotage the situation. Like, well, I gotta go to work. I gotta, I gotta do this because I needed like a minute, and the only way I knew how to get that minute that would justify it would be like, well, she's working. Because if I just said I needed to just, I need to be making money. Why are you doing that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why when people be like. You selfish. You don't want no more kids, or you you selfish. But it's like no, maybe they. You don't know what that person went through. You don't know. And then like, you don't know people passed. Did they have present parents, or maybe they had so many fucking kids they didn't have time for you, or maybe they had one or two, but they was working so hard that they still didn't have no time for you, or that they when they did have time to spend with you, it wasn't quality. Because I don't feel like they need a whole bunch of time either. But it's like, the time that you spend with them do matter. Too much your kids. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think I reminisce about walking in the the rain with my father and we didn't have an umbrella and he started singing to me. You know what I'm saying? It's, it was never the Disney World trips or nothing like that that stuck with me the most. Simple things. Simple things. I wonder. What, I wonder what Shake him gonna remember. I know. I'm so. Sometimes I think about that. Like, I wonder what's gonna be like the highlight of his childhood and then what is he gonna like be mad at us for. Probably the PlayStation. I don't even know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just ready to be like, I'm sorry, sugar. What can I do to make it right? Because mommy just man, loves stop, and adores man, you. Stop calling that man sugar. That's my sugar wigga pugger. That is my sugar wigga pugger. You better stop. We live in Atlanta. Can I say something? Nah, if it's finna get me canceled up on it, don't know. No, it don't get you canceled. What you finna say? I was gonna say, I think even sometimes, like with me and you, when we talk about like having another baby, that's what I'm saying. I just want like structure. I'm not trying to control it, but I just want, I don't want it to be so up in the air how it was the first time so I could avoid like the you anxiety. Want, you want it to be not only planned, of course I want to be planned. I don't want to have no oopsie daisies. No. You want me to shoot the club up by accident? No. Hell no. No. Because even if it was to be shoot the club by accident, we would still have to have, if we had structure and you did that, then it'd be like, okay. No, not structure, man. No. Like, if I get pregnant again, I'm. what's going to happen with my business? Oh, you're just going to have to figure it out. Mm-mm. I'm already trying to figure it out now. You know what I'm saying? So that, but also like, during that, the first, like, year a motherhood, the, the baby really depends on his mother. And that take a lot of, like, emotional and physical energy. If I say, babe, I, you know, I need to go get a massage. Babe, can we at least do, you know, month, monthly dates? Or we walk, take walks in the park with the baby, with our family. Do a straw. I don't, you know, I don't want it to be like I'm a burden asking you these things. It's like, we already discussed that when and if these things happen, this is what's going to be in place. I don't even care if we vlog it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying your business can't be involved, but it's just like, 
we need all hands on or more hands on deck, not only for the newborn baby, but for me too. I need aftercare. You get what I'm saying? Copy. She need aftercare. <laughs> Need something. A lot of it. It's deep. This was a deep conversation. Oh, oh, happy Mother's Day to all the mommies out there. Oh yeah, Mother's Day is tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Oh, okay. Do I, psh, I told you. I already told you. I put that gas in. You put gas in my car. That's Mother's Day gas. You putting gas in my car? But I'm supposed to be just up. I put premium in it, mother. I'll put premium gas in my car all the time. You do not put premium. Yes, I do. Oh, you put premium in that thing? Yes, thing? yes. That's the I only thought gas I was I doing I you a favor. No. What'd you put a premium because in that that's for? that's practice when I have my luxury car. Well. No, I thought you were. I thought I, I was doing. So no, but mean, I feel like regular gas went out quicker anyway. How much you put How much you put in there? And you usually take like less than 45 to fill my tank. No way. That's going to take 50. I go to the BP. I don't 50, know. I go, like I go, $55 to I go, to, I go to the same gas station every time. So I I know how much it costs me. I told you the people in there know me. They're going to look out for me when it comes to, you know, they strange. Don't. No, I mean strange activities. They're going to know my face. It's like I come see them all the time. But also, their gas prices don't. It's less than $4. It'd be like $3.89. Where does BP at? Not on camera. I'm not telling you. It's by the Chipotle, the new one. The new one? The new one that we go to? Oh, From time to time, yes. Oh. Okay, say less. I might have to start going over there. Mm-hmm. Because my, shoot, it take like damn near 60, 65 hours to fill my tank. No, since we moved, I've always been going to that, that BP. I thought I was doing something. I'm like, oh, let me put some... some some, uh, but that's 93 in her car. Shit. That's what I'm saying. That's my mother's day gift, though. You put gas in my car. Yeah. What? It's the simple things. Don't stop acting like that. So, Roderick, I know you. I'm it's the, the, it's the simple. It's the simple things. I put some 93 in your car. You know what I'm saying? You got gas for the rest of the week. You don't have to worry about stopping and, you know. But if I just asked you to put gas in my car and it wasn't Mother's Day, you would have told me no. I needed gas in my car anyway, and then you had asked to drive it. You see how it's not even lighting up? Because the spirits ain't Hell, it's smoking, though. <laughs> it's smoking. You need it. The, the spirits are smoking with me. No, they smoking with you. They're trying to cleanse... You you serious though? About what? About what? The gas being my mother's again? Yo, you just gonna be on this? I'm asking if you're serious. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. You okay, Roderick. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Stop like you type you just be even if I was trying to surprise you, you type motherfuckers just gonna be, keep hounding me until no, don't I just do be that. like, you know what? I'm about to do this, that, that, and the third. The, oh, why but why you told me? No. Hey, you, if, if you was going to surprise me, because you kept on bothering Man, me. You forgot about you Mother's Day last year. Son, you, you been forgot. talking about... <laughs> Don't do that. Don't act like it's a regular thing. Last, Just last year, you forgot. I didn't get nothing. So what do you mean? You didn't get nothing for Mother's Day? Danae, you ain't get nothing for Mother's Day? Did you Day? not forget that it was Mother's what Day? What you bummer, Maya? You ain't get nothing for Mother's Day? What did I get for Mother's Day? 